First is divided into four districts. Please remain seated. We are making a brief stop in order for our conductor to throw the track switch, which allows the train to go into the Heron Mining Camp. Once we get underway, we will be crossing over Ponch Creek on a trestle bridge, which was built in 1937. The bridge is made of steel girders lined with cross ties and is 75 feet long. It stands about 85 feet high from the base of the creek. The highway next to the railroad track is State Highway 742, which is accessible off of Highway 16. Ranger Tommy, I work for the National Park Service. Blue Heron was a coal mining community from 1937 all the way up until 1962, but today is part of the Big South Fork National River and Recreation Area. While you're here, feel free to check out the Outdoor Museum. We have exhibits like the one to your right. Uh, that structure is not original to the coal mining community here from the 40s, uh, but it was built to represent a building that was here. That was, at the time, we have another uh, exhibit. That's the general store. Again, you can listen to audio recording there. Uh, but even further behind me, we have the... where I was probably 2005 sitting on there. Amy and I, she's not making the trip up here with me today, so I just wanted to record me here. Eleven years later, see if I've lost some weight primarily, how much different I might look. This is at the far end of the Blue Heron Mine trestle. I don't know, I think I've left my wife down at the other side. Sometimes it'd be 
suggesting. See, they would be shooting, drilling, cutting, and blowing all at the same time. So if you wanted to do a good job of all, and you had to get everything in line, just boom, just like this, right across here, you just, this boom the bridge for it, right across this whole mountain. Time to go go home, you know, at the closing of the ship. They wouldn't have time, you know, to go go home and change clothes, but they come run on the church. Yeah. And they didn't wear their overalls. Their overalls. It was just a, uh, just an old tiny church, you know. I suppose it's just immediately after I was saved. I felt the urge, you know. This is hard to explain. Uh, I wanted to preach. I could get no relief in my mind, you know, and I just, uh, I felt that God had called me to preach. Uh, I just wanted to be a minister. People back then were more conscientious of God and heaven, because that's the only thing they had to look for. That's the only way of getting out there. I ain't going to heaven. Uh, wife and me were baptized together. There was about 25, possibly 25 people baptized.
Mary and then she and this was this was our mother, you know, she was strictly a lady. Well, like the other women that I can remember like uh <laughs> Wow, you're on candid camera. Where are we? Angel Falls. Two miles, Angel Falls. We don't go to Angel Falls. We'll go to you think you're tired and want to turn around, okay? Yeah. It's not too bad when you're walking if you're sitting up there. Amy and Joe are walking at Angel Falls Trail in Big South Fork. I'm going to get a selfie of her. Smile, Amy. You're on Candy Channel. <laughs> It, huh? yeah. it goes out. I'm not sure about that, but it's still recording. I think it just sprayed the battery. It'll go out. Yeah. Here. Second, I can go around and show the river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on out the trail. Auto adjust. I believe it does better in darkness. 